Well, hello YouTube and welcome to this week's edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. We're back at the shop. We're going to continue on the front suspension, the ongoing saga trying to get this uh, front end right. But uh, I was able to make a parts run this morning. I was able to find a A-frame to use on the upper right hand side of the car. And this A-frame is one inch longer in here. And that we needed that to, we need to kind of get a little uh, camber out of the car. So this will fix that. And I was also able to come up with a QA1 uh, bolt-in style upper ball joint that has a one inch longer pin depth, so or pin length. So this is going to get us, I think, really in the ballpark. So everything will be adjustable from here. So we'll get all these pieces on today. And then we're going to probably set the car back down. I want to look at the steering links uh, across the center, center link and also how it falls as far as the idle arm. I may have to lower the idle arm a little bit or get an offset idle arm, but uh, we won't know until we get the car back down. But we finally have everything together. I think we have a plan forward to try to get the geometry correct on the front end. Also need to work on the rear shock mounts on the back of the car and I need to mount the fuel cell frame as well. And, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuel cell, go ahead and take it up there first part of next week, and get it powder coated. So we've got a, uh, another good full show of stuff to do. So appreciate you joining us. So stay tuned and we'll get at it. We'll be right back with you. Okay, welcome back YouTube and man buddy has done a fantastic job we figured all this out we've got uh, the new a-frame up here you're not gonna be able to see on this side but the a-frame I installed this morning uh, works fine and the most important thing is all the steering shaft now across we had to lower the island arm just a hair we thought we accomplished that simply by drilling a couple of holes in the frame relocated it and now the drag link is perfectly level and we had to put a new tie rod on the driver's side, but everything now is mocked up and we're gonna put it down the ground now and uh, put the tires back on it and kind of look at the geometry on the front end. But I think we got this thing whooped now. It's been about a three day process and about three trips to the auto parts store or speed shop to get some stuff. But I think we got it in the bag now. So. Hang in there and we will get this thing on the ground and I'll let you look at it. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, welcome back YouTube. And we got the car down and everything looks really good. You can see the camber in the left front. Everything's gonna be adjustable now. And the steering all looks great. And we're gonna end up shimming this upper A-frame on the right hand side to get the camera we're wanting this right front but everything is achievable now just by shimming um we were just talking we're thinking we'll come here we're going to cut this this frame off right here we'll plate it or something and we're going to stick the uh, shock actually run the shock in between the arms on the upper a-frame on both sides that way it'll give us pretty plenty of clearance whenever we try to uh, turn the wheels and that'll be fine on the back we were just talking. We're gonna try to get a little less angle on this rear rear radius arm on the, on the uh, radius rods down here for the trailing arms. We're gonna loosen all this. We're gonna take the strut off off the back end. I don't see we need running it. I've never had a quick change ever. I mean, it's a good idea, but we, we, it's not necessary for what we're doing. Take this off. We're gonna go ahead and slide this mount in the cage and. Uh, that gives a little better angle on the trailing arms. We also need to come up with a higher third link mount for the quick change so we get a better angle on the third link. So we got a lot of stuff to come up with on the rear shocks, but it won't be that bad to do. But anyway, major, major accomplishment on this front end. And well, I tell you, we're really, really pleased with that. So I think tomorrow we'll pull the motor back out of it 
and we'll uh, got plenty of stuff to do. Got to work on the firewall. I got a gas pedal to mount. We're going to work on the rear end, and uh, so uh, it'll be a pretty good day. Tomorrow's going to be Christmas Day, but we're going to keep turning the wrenches out here. So maybe Santa will help us out here do a little work. But are you happy, buddy? I'm happy. He's happy. I'm happy too. All right, man. So appreciate y'all uh, hanging with us, and we will check back with you here in a little bit. YouTube and as you can see the front end looks a little bit different here uh, after buying the special a-frames and the special ball joints uh, we were trying to correct the faults of General Motors when they built this Chevelle frame for some reason they didn't build it for circle track racing but we thought we could kind of fudge our way in but uh, we put the front end gauge on the car today and what we had on the ground and we just didn't like our geometry we had uh, we could get enough camber in it, but we're having to shim the front end so much. Uh, just not the best way to do it. So we got the torch out, and we whacked everything off. I mean, we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to go um, this couple of days from Monday. We're going to go ahead and buy two new weld-in jack bolt plates. We're going to put a new A-frame tower up and weld everything. We're going to build this thing from scratch uh, like, it, like it should have been done in the first place. Of course, they didn't have access to this back in the original days when this car was built, you had to use what you had. And they were put the jack bolt in originally, uh, they put it through where the shock eye hole was for the stock uh, shock mount on this frame. And that's been done for, uh, you know, uh, that way for a long time. We're gonna go ahead and inset everything. Then uh, whenever we mount our shock in here now, we're gonna move our, we're gonna move our shock inboard and we'll have a sleeve cut right here uh, for this slot, and then we'll be able to get our shock inboard to where we want it, better angle. And main thing is clearance of the A-frame. So we're gonna pick up the new weld-in plates first part of next week, and we will get on that again. And it's only gonna set us back a couple of days here, but the most important thing will be done right. So, hey, just a little journey. You never know what you're gonna get into until you start messing with this stuff. So uh, hang in there with us, and we will get the parts and we'll get right back on it. So see you in a little bit. As you can see, we have the passenger side of the car pretty much ready for welding now. Uh, we came in and we put this new eighth inch plate across the top. That was after we cut off this stock uh, tower, stock A-frame tower that they had added on uh, here for their A-frame adjustments, but went out and we bought uh, two of these universal upper A-frame mounts and you're able to weld in essentially your caster and camber and we actually got it right the first time. <laughs> I'd taken a couple of measurements and we spot welded on there and put the front end gauge on it and got it right. So that was a relief. But we also uh, put in the new wedge bolt with the swivel spring cup here and uh, inside. And then I've got a couple of gussets here on the top to support the A-frame bracket. But uh, got this side ready to weld up. And uh, I'm glad we went ahead and did this and bit the bullet and, and did it right. Now the driver's side is gonna be a little bit more difficult because we have to deal with the steering shaft over there. And due to how the steering box is located, I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna go. So uh, we'll look at that after work on uh, tonight and try to see what we can come up with there on that. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching 
and uh, we continue to grow. We picked up, I think, uh, about 15 new subscribers in the last week. And I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. And uh, then we're coming into a new year now. But uh, thanks for watching again. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. Just let you know whenever uh, we release a new video. And uh, hopefully we'll have that left side kind of mocked up next time we talk to you. But have a fantastic week, everybody. And we will see you next time on Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. Take care.